Well, we got a, uh, a treat for you guys today here at... Uh, oh. It's a household favorite, I'd say. Um, I haven't had a whistle pig that's disappointed yet. Um, maybe the 15 year. That's a different video. 18, 18 years. 18, that's was the correct. 18. So 15. here at the Alaska Bourbon Cabin, we, we like the whistle pig. It's, it's a polarizing statement. It's, uh, yeah. And I know it... it for me, the first, like, uh, you know, you hear about all these exclusive liquors growing up, like Skull, Vodka, and... Uh, uh, I wasn't hearing Whistle Pig. No, no I, I heard Whistle Pig. Did you? It was, okay. You know, Whistle Pig okay. at 18, actually, was like the okay. really fancy bourbon. And I know there's better out there and more exclusive, so don't roast me in the comments for that. But my inner ass growing up, that was like the rich man's... Aside from Pappy, you know, there's always <laughs> I, Pappy. There's always Pappy, which, yeah. But I digress. Here at the Whistle Pig, we've got we've got the six year bourbon, we've got the six year rye, we've got a couple of different bottles of ten, we've got a fifteen and an eighteen. We haven't haven't gotten any, into any of the Boss Hogs. Would love to try one of those though. Yeah, somebody hook us up with a sample of one of those. We <laughs> we can't, can't get them here. Can't get them. No. Can't. I, I've never seen one available. I we have I, twelve year, twelve year old world rye. And I saw it. I'm like, I don't know what old world, old world rye is, but I like rye. I like old things. So and they're twelve year. They're finished in in dessert wine casks. That's right. right. Wine so cask have, finished. Actually, I'll let him read it because he knows how to pronounce wines. <laughs> So three different finishes here. So it comes in a uh, once they put it all together, sixty three percent Madeira casks, thirty percent Sauterne cask, and seven percent Port cask. So I would say that you know initially coming off these dessert wines and dessert casks, you, I would think sweet until it's almost three quarters Madeira, and, and you know those are a dry you know a dry dessert fortified. So I'm going to expect some some dryness out of this rather than a fruit forward. Is and okay. as you guys can see, this thing's steel sealed. We've never had this, but that's my my expectation coming out of this. Okay, I'll let you. You found it. All right. Do the. Uh... So up here in Alaska, we paid. I paid 115. Is about 125 after tax. Um, let us know in the comments if you can find it. I'm sure you can. But it was a little steep, but then I saw it was 12 years, so I was willing to pay it. Um, and we like the whistle pig. So we do like the whistle pig. We trust the whistle pig. I don't like the $100, but I like the whistle pig. <laughs> All right. Neck pour here. Just a sip. It looks light in that glass. It does. Oops. Gave him a heavy pour. I need a competitive advantage here. Put that back in frame. All right. I, I get hot. Yeah, it's hot on the nose. <laughs> Which we didn't say the proof. Only 86 proof. That's light. It's, it's a old, lot hotter than yeah. 86. I mean, that smells like it's somewhere between it's around that 110 mark. We say it's hot if it's heavy proof, but we don't say it's cold if it's not I, heavy proof. We say it's light. We should start the trend. All right, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> it smells hot, but it's cold. Oh, it, it's Alaska. It's cold. Yeah, there we go. We're <laughs> in the cabin. So, okay, I, I I do, and maybe this is marketing or subliminal hints, but I get wine. I do smell remnants of wine in there. Nothing specific, but just generic aged grape, maybe. So you could argue to me. That there's like a, and I, not a, a Madeira or a Sauterne, but that port sweetness coming through, almost port. that that alcoholic sugar. I'm hoping you're correct, but no, I alcoholic sugar. The moment you said those words, I picked up port. So, well, cheers. cheers. It drinks hot. Hmm. So it's definitely a whistle pig rye. I get it's you taste like a cousin of piggyback to me. Hold on, right there as you were talking, I got tobacco 
in the Ooh. back end. I got some tobacco there. Okay. It's in the back. Almost an aftertaste. I'd even say specifically, it almost tastes like pipe tobacco smells there at the end. I... I'm trying to get those wines to show through, but... I'm not, I couldn't tell you that that was... Some sweetness on the lips. Almost like, you know, like a port or a, a sauterne does, you know. Not as sweet as I... No. I don't want to say hoped, but almost. No, it's got that dryness, yeah, you know, yeah. like a Madeira, it's got that Which dryness. Which you are correct. Yeah. I would but. absolutely agree it is more dry than sweet, but it, it's not that it's not sweet. Mm -hmm. It's a dry sweet. Mm. It's hot, though. It definitely drinks hotter than 86. Yeah, that's... um. If you had to guess the proof, I, I'd put it over hundred. Oh, I was gonna go somewhere in the. I would go one ten ish, yep. plus or minus a couple points. Well, so the big question. We like we're big fans of the Whistle Pig. Where? Let's start a ranking. We've never we haven't ranked, but within the Whistle Pig, if we were gonna start this ranking, mm. first bottle. Um, I gotta be honest. To me, including the price. Also, including what you get for the price, not that's, just that's straight. where I was going with this. Okay, okay, because to me, this has been the second most disappointing whistle pig to me. Oh, after the 18 year, um, it's not that I think it's bad, but I enjoy the piggyback way more. That I, I think it's the youngness of it, it's just there's more. I get more complexity out of the six year than I do with the Correct. 12 year. Complexity, that's the word I'm and, looking for. And I wonder if the wine casks take away from it from what a, what the 12 year goes into those casks. Because because that 12 year it's that fun I call, you know, the rye curve. The it's 10 like, to 12. Whew. I mean, yeah. And be, uh, with, with this I think you're right that wine it kind of makes that fun curve it flattens it out and I just yeah. kind of get a disappointing dry bitterness. I I I don't disagree. So as far as whistle pigs, second worst I've had. Second worst. So you think that okay, so you, you Well, you say include price and what we paid for that price. 18. Hey, this is it's going to stay at the bottom. A quarter of the price, okay? Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, I would 100 bucks, I would buy two to three of those whistle pig sixes, a bourbon and a rye, right? Pay for the six-year bourbon, six-year rye, or, mm -hmm. or double, you know, whatever you like, I would take two or three of those before I would buy this again. Which is a nice recap. That's why bourbon's fun, because this is one of those that it stayed too long, and maybe it's the wine, or maybe it stayed too long. I don't know, have we had another 12-year Well, we rye? had that 15 that we thought was just was the Whistle rye? Pig 15. No, it's, we'll have to double check. I think it's a bourbon, just okay. a straight old bourbon, but... Um, I mean, to me, that was prime. So I'm going to hedge a bet here, and I'm going to go with that maybe it's the, the wine casks that take away than that 12. I would love to try I would love to try this juice, you know, whether it's a 10-year or an 11-year before it goes into those wine casks. You know, so they're quote-unquote old world wine before it goes. Right. You know, and they don't, um, so they don't state how long. I see, yeah, uh, you mentioned this earlier in the video, and I'm incorrect. They don't. State right, how long it was in those wine casks, right. but I'm telling you right now, too damn long. It's just okay. It flattens the bourbon. Okay, okay. So, so next question: Whistle Pig ranking in in terms of Whistle Pig, we rank this guy low. Low. Okay. Second worst out of. We'll edit a chart in here. Yeah. Um, overall, one out of a hundred. You can go to one decimal point. One decimal point. Tenth decimal point. You know, I'm going, um, I got to think about this here, because I think it's over a 50, because it's still... Now, with this, we don't include price, correct? This is straight flavor. Straight flavor they profile. gave it to you for free. Yep. Okay. Yep, this is, if, this is if we had gotten a free sample of this. You know, I'm going to go in that, that low 60. Mm. Mm. I'm going to go in that low 60 range. Okay. And I'm going to go... 65 is too high, 60 is not enough. So I'm going to go... Um, okay, I wrote mine down. Did you? Before you said. Okay. You got it? Yep. 
Okay, so I'm going to go 62.1. Okay, nine. Well, I mean close, I guess. Okay, so I'm going 62.1. That's my final score out of 100. Price not included, just for the juice. Okay. 62.1. I was a little harsher. Okay. I think because, again, that, that piggyback, I just... That's what got me into this. Maybe okay. I gave it a 55.5. 55. 55. Like to me, it is, it's above average. It's better than your average bourbon, but not a lot. Okay, so it's peaked the bell curve, but that's it. That's it. She's uh, okay. not going to win any parades anytime soon. So. Okay, well, you heard it here at the Alaska Bourbon Cabin first. Don't, uh, if you got 100 bucks, burn it a hole in your pocket. We uh, don't necessarily recommend the Whistle Pick 12 to spend that 100 bucks on. That's right. Let us know what you think in the comments, and uh, let us know where what it costs in yeah. your area. We we're interested in that price point. Would have changed this for me. Okay. Thanks all for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.